We want you to have the best possible experience growing with hydroponics. Today, we're going to set up Nutriculture's GT205i. It's an NFT system. NFT stands for Nutrient Film Technique. As you can see, the pump delivers nutrient solution from the tank beneath to the spreader film covered tray, which ensures the roots of your crop receive highly oxygenated nutrient solution. On purchasing this system, you will receive the nutrient tank, the top tray, the silver Corex top plate, the pump, spreader mat, and a pH test kit. Your plants will need to be mounted in rock wall cubes. Score the Corex around the base of the cube and then completely remove the section. Make sure it's a good tight fit. Now, you need to assemble the pump. Attach the air intake pipe to the nozzle that receives it next to the power cable. The valve at the other end of the pipe allows you to regulate oxygenation. Fit the water outlet pipe to the top of the pump. The green gate allows you to regulate water uptake, increasing or decreasing flow to the tray as required. Now, take the tray and position it on top of the tank. Pass the horizontal section of the outlet pipe through the hole in the tray. Attach the pump to the base of the nutrient tank using the suckers. Ensure the air intake pipe and power cables are running through the channels. Measure and place the spreader mat. We're running extra length off the end of the tray, so it reaches the nutrient solution below. This prevents dripping and makes the whole system quieter. When you're placing the rock wall cubes and plants, it's important for the grooves in the base of the cube to run parallel to the length of the tank, the same direction as the nutrient flow, to get optimal performance. Now, fill the tank with 20 litres of water. If you're using mains water, you should leave it to stand for 24 hours to allow the chlorine to evaporate. The tank has handy minimum and maximum level indicators. The minimum level equates to the top of the pump and the maximum level is indicated here. Using your new pump, damp down the spreader mat thoroughly. This prevents any slippage. Place the Corex top plate. Now you can place your plant. We would recommend using the GT205i for one to three plants. The chili plant we're using here is just for demonstration purposes. You really want prolific root growth like this coming out of your rock wall cubes before you transplant to an NFT system. First thing to do after any transplant is feed. We're using Hesse HydroGrow, a single part hydronutrient geared for the vegetative stage of plant growth. It's a great starting point if you're new to growing with hydro. You should use five milliliters per liter of water. So we're using 100 milliliters with our 20 liters of water. Once you've let the solution mix into the water, test the pH with the kit provided. As we're in the vegetative stage, we're aiming for 5.8 to 6.1, an orange color on the test card. The sample jar for the test kit holds four milliliters of solution. You only need to add three drops of tester to this. Our result is yellow, somewhere around pH seven. So we're gonna nudge this down with a few drops of pH down. It's really important you allow the pH down to mix thoroughly for 15 to 20 minutes before retesting. If we retest immediately without allowing the solution to mix, we get a very low red reading. So we're gonna let the pump mix the solution for 20 minutes or so. We've got the pH up ready, just in case. And retesting brings us this yellow-orange color, a pretty good color on our chart. Remember, we're aiming for 5.8 to 6.1. The only way to be certain with pH is a pH pen. So we're taking a sample and testing with a HM digital pH pen. And here we are, 6.1 hitting our optimal range. So that was installing the GT205i Nutrient Film Technique Grow Tank. We hope you found this useful. Please subscribe and check back for our growing updates.